Alright guys, so a couple of days ago, the Apple event took place, and they launched a couple of new products, like the AirTags, the 2021 iMac, as well as the 2021 iPad Pro. So let's go take a look at them. Alright guys, so our first product is the iPhone 12. Now I know that this is not a new product, however, there is a new purple color available for it, which is a special spring edition. It is only available to the iPhone 12 as well as the iPhone 12 mini. Customers can start pre-ordering this phone on 23rd April and it will be available on 30th April. Alright guys, so next up we have the AirTag. AirTag is similar to Tile, so you can put it on maybe your keys or maybe your backpack or something that you tend to lose often. Then, with the help of the Find My app in your iPhone 11 or iPhone 12, you can track it down by playing a sound or by using precision finding, which makes your Find My app a GPS, which guides you to the exact location of your AirTag. Alright, so AirTags are customizable with emojis or text. You can also get a keyring or a loop for them. It is also available in leather options. AirTags coming out only $30 for a one pack and $100 for a four pack. Order starts on 23rd April and will be available on 30th April. All right guys, so next up we have the Apple TV 4K with the A12 Bionic chip, which enables your Apple TV to finally play high frame rate HDR content. So next up we have the Apple TV 4K's Color Balance feature, which uses your iPhone 12 or 12 Pro's light sensor to check your TV's color balance Compare it with the best color bands available and automatically adjust it so that you get the best output available. Next up we have a completely redesigned Apple TV remote with a brand new click pad that is touch enabled and the click pad can also be used for jock controls. The Siri button is moved to the side. So the Apple TV 4K starts at just $179 for the 32GB version and $199 for the 64GB version. Order starts on 30th April and it will be available in the second half of May. Alright guys, next up we have the brand new 2021 IMAX. Alright guys, so you have a 24 inch display along with 11.3 million pixels. You also have a 4.5K Retina display along with 500 nits of brightness. Alright guys, so you do have 1080p FaceTime HD camera, which Apple calls the best camera ever in a Mac. You also have a beamforming mic, which pretty much cancels out all the other noise and focuses on your voice. Apple also calls this the best mic ever in a Mac. You also have two force cancelling woofers on each side, accompanied by one tweeter on each side, which forms a six speaker system. It is 85% faster CPU and two times faster graphics and 50% faster graphics than the previous 21.5 inch iMac. You have four USB Type-C ports, two of which are Thunderbolt ports, and a magnetic power connector with a Brady cable that attaches straight into the power brick, which also has an Ethernet port. The new 2021 iMac also has a redesigned keyboard with an emoji button, spotlight button, dictation button, do not disturb, as well as the lock button. You also have another variant of the same keyboard, which has a touch ID button on the lock button. Since the 2021 iMac is colorful, you also have the keyboard that is color matched with aluminum finish and the mice that is also color matched with aluminum finish as well as the trackpad which is also color matched with aluminum finish. The new iMac comes in two variants with one of them at 1299 which has 8 core CPU, 7 core GPU, 8 GB memory, 256 GB of SSD, 2 Thunderbolt ports and Magic Keyboard. The other one is starting at $14.99 with 8-core CPU, 8-core GPU, 8GB unified memory, 256GB of SSD, 2 Thunderbolt ports, 2 USB 3 ports, Magic Keyboard with Touch ID, as well as Ethernet. Order starts on 30th April and it will be available in the second half of May. Alright guys, now comes the 2021 iPad Pro, which now has the M1 chip. It also has an 8-core CPU with 50% faster CPU and an 8-core GPU with 40% faster graphics. It also has console-level graphics and support for the brand new PlayStation and Xbox controllers. 
It has a two times faster storage access along with a two terabyte SSD, USB Type-C with Thunderbolt enabled so you can use it with the Pro Display XDR. It also has 5G in the cellular versions and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. So the ultra wide camera enables a really cool feature which Apple calls center stage. So if you move out of the frame, the camera will adjust itself to keep you in the center of the frame. And if more people join in, it will automatically zoom out to keep all the people in the center. 12.9 inch version also has Liquid Retina XDR which has 1000 nits of full screen brightness and 1600 nits of peak brightness. It also has a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio. It has 10,000 mini LEDs and 2500 local dimming zones. It also has support for the Magic Keyboard as well as the Apple Pencil Generation 2. The iPad Pro 11 inch version starts at just $799 and the 12.9 inch version starts at $1099. Order starts on 30th April and it will be available in the second half of May. That's it for this video guys and I'll see you in the next one.